Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Sweet home. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. This is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. a good girl. Hungry, are you? Sid says we shouldn't travel alone, that the Deadlands here are unforgiving. Still, needs must. Newcomer, you mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Flow's all mended then. It'll hold for now. No exposure will be needing a new sword. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. 
All she needs is a little reminding. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. <coughs> Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. These apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? working on a pet project of mine, though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right, I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. 
Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. repairing.
It'll last you a good while. And? It is. The scouts found a pair of new bearers willing to join us. Blankets, quick as you like. All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there, someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't need out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? What the hell have I got myself into? Freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. 
do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. You got out else? I'll be thankful you got that much. to your name. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me. Thank your dog.
You all done? Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right.